Hi, I'm Angus. I'm Charlie. And, and you're, you're utterly, utterly foxed. foxed. Eggs get fertilized, and by that I mean sperm get accepted by ova a lot. Right. But that's not all you need. You have to attach to the uterine wall, the inside of, the, of a, a womb, a woman's womb. You need to attach to the uterine wall to do what exactly? But if you're going to hold that as a standard, that is to say, if you're going to say <clears throat> when an egg is fertilized, it's therefore all has the same rights as an individual, then who are you going to sue? whom are you going to sue? Whom are you going to imprison? Who am I going to sue for what? Every woman who's had a fertilized egg pass through her? Every guy who's sperm has fertilized an egg and then it didn't become a human? Have all these people failed you? You've set up a perfect false equivalency here. Basically what you're saying is that an accident happening is the same as doing something on purpose. As if I would sue somebody if my son drowned in the ocean versus if somebody drowned my son in the ocean. Uh, it's just a reflection of a deep scientific lack of understanding. No, this is a deep lack of philosophical understanding. Science doesn't tell us that you become a human after you've attached to the uterine wall. That is a belief. That is not scientific fact. And uh, you, you, you literally, or you apparently literally don't know what you're talking about. And so uh, uh, when it comes to women's rights with respect to their reproduction, I think you should leave it to women. It's really... Uh, you cannot help but notice. I mean, I'm not the first guy to observe this. You have a lot of men of European descent passing these extraordinary laws based on ignorance. Again, based on ignorance of what? Of a philosophical belief that humans should be protected at conception? I'm I, I, sorry, you guys. I know it was written, or your interpretation of a book written 5,000 5, years ago. Uh, 50 centuries ago, makes you think that when a man and a woman have sexual intercourse, they always have a baby. What the fuck are you talking about? Nobody believes that. Show me one person who believes that, that is over the age of six years old. That's wrong. And so to pass laws based on that belief is inconsistent with nature. Inconsistent with nature in what way? Tell me some freaking facts. Convince me. I mean, it's hard not to get frustrated with this, everybody. Uh, and I know it w nobody likes abortion. Really? Are you sure of that? Let's ask a couple of people. Hey, Lena Dunham, do you have any opinions? I still haven't had an abortion, but I wish I had. Let's check out Twitter. Does anybody have anything to say about this? Okay, but you can't tell somebody what to do. I mean, she has rights over this, especially if she doesn't like the guy that got her pregnant. Like, she doesn't want anything to do with your genes. Get over it, especially if she were raped and all this. So uh, it's very frustrating on the, on the outside, on the other side. Uh, we have so many more important things to be dealing with. We have so many more problems to squander resources on this argument based on bad science on just lack of understanding. It's very frustrating. So show us the science that proves that humanity doesn't start at conception. You wouldn't know how big a human egg was if it weren't for microscopes, if it weren't for scientists who are medical researchers looking diligently. You wouldn't know the process. You wouldn't have that shot, the famous shot or shots where the sperm are bumping up against the egg. You wouldn't have that without science. So then to claim that you know the next step when you obviously don't is trouble. When you, okay, let me do that again. Let me just pull back. At some point, we have to respect the facts. I do respect the facts, but you haven't provided any of them. You said we had microscopes. Well, yeah, we have microscopes. We see the process. Within 24 hours of the egg being fertilized, cells start to divide. It takes three to four days after that for the egg to attach to the uterus. Now, if this was Mars and we found a single cell organism, we would say that we discovered life on Mars. And you're trying to convince me that a dividing cell is not life. Recommending or insisting on abstinence has been completely ineffective. 
actually there was a study a few years ago that NPR talked about that showed that it was pretty effective. I'll link to it in the description below. Just being objective here. Uh, closing abortion clinics, closing, uh, not getting, giving women access to birth control has not been an effective way to lead to healthier societies. This, I mean, I think we all know that. And I understand that you have deeply held beliefs and you want to, and it really is ultimately out of respect for people, in this case, your perception of unborn people. The perception that innocent life should be protected and not murdered, right? I understand that, but I really encourage you to look at the facts. And again, what are the facts? You haven't provided a single fact in this four and a half minute video. And I know people are now critical of the expression fact-based, but what's wrong with that? <laughs> Well, maybe people are critical of it because fact-based doesn't mean anything anymore. You're not actually presenting any facts in this supposed fact-based debate. So I just really encourage you to not tell women what to do and not pursue these laws that really are in nobody's best interest. Yeah, except for, you know, the innocent child that gets murdered by his mom. Just really be objective about this. We have other problems to solve, everybody. But that's just the thing, isn't it? It's only objective if it agrees with you. The objective fact is, we don't know when human life begins. Some people believe that it begins at conception. Some people believe it happens when the egg attaches to the uterine wall. Other people believe it happens when you turn two years old. This is a moral and religious argument. And some people seem to think that maybe we should err on the side of caution and not murder potential human life. 